Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Wait a second, I just noticed something. No, I don't. I don't think I did that. Cause then I, I'm actually stupid if I did. Okay, I was about to say. I honestly thought, cause you know why I have two, both of the Mbappes just for the review accounts, right? I have left wing Mbappe and then striker Mbappe, so I just choose between the two. Because you guys know how I always tell you where it's like. With Mbappe, you don't really like notice the difference if it's like a plus one difference or whatever it is. Like you have to get to his team of the seasons and all that kind of stuff to really feel the difference. That's why I have both of them. One striker, one left wing. Review account stuff. But I honestly, I looked at this one. And I was like, did I put the striker one in? Because sometimes I'm doing SBCs and I'm putting it like past SBCs in. I'm like, wait a second, you know? Anywho, quick flex, guys. Haha. <laughs> We have a 4-3-3 to check out. Guys, this guy is 3 for 3, ladies and gentlemen, okay? He is 3 for 3. This guy is my new guy for tactics, honestly, for different types that are actually very, very good. Uh, a lot of the uh, highlights that you guys are going to see today is Bernardo Silva, okay? Because Bernardo Silva in this formation is amazing. I mean, you know, a card like Nkunku in the cam position for the way that this is formatted, also amazing. There's so many different ways to use it, it's, it's, it's very nice, okay? It's very nice. Anyways, the way that this tactic is set up, guys, is like this, right? So we have, we have uh, balance for defensive style, 40 for width, 65 for depth, build up play, balance, direct passing, uh, width on 56 for players in the box, and then one on one. I don't, I don't care what anybody puts. Like you can see some tactics will be on four or three. I'm putting it on one because I don't like counter attacks. So you guys know me. Listen, oh, keepers. I always put a sweeper keeper, oops. Sweeper keeper, right? So come for crosses, sweeper keeper. That's uh, I always do that personally. It just works out the best for me, right? Uh, the fullbacks, both on stay back while attacking overlap. Your center, what is this? Center mids for this formation? I think it's center mids, right? Does it show you here? I'm assuming that's center mid, right? Four, three, three. Um, one center mids on stay back while attacking cover center. The other one is also on stay back while attacking cover center. And then you have your cam as the against the box of their cross player. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the types of players you're gonna want there because the players I'm using here are not the perfect examples. One is not the perfect example. Um, we have someone like De Jong up top. You can use a stay central getting behind striker. You're gonna see a lot of the highlights is Bernardo Silva and Mbappe. Deadly, deadly combination, okay? Right wing, come back in the fence, get into the box of their cross. Also, come back in the fence, get, on the, uh, get into the box of their cross. Again, ignore the way that the team is formatted. This is just us you know, doing reviews for certain players, okay? So, types of players you're gonna want in this team. I'll give you an example from his video. Again, be sure to uh, check out the YouTube channel, all that good stuff, okay? So, take a look at how his team is formatted. Back four, pretty much meta, right? Sergio Ramos Lucio is is the uh, is the go-to, uh, go full meta for your defenders. I tell you guys this every single time for tactic videos, don't go for fun, full meta, because these people, they be playing a certain way, right? Full meta defenders. Uh, he has Emerson Royale, Roberto Carlos as a fullback, so no problem there. Try to try your best to get players in the fullback position that are both competent at attacking and defending. Roberto Carlos is definitely can attack well, uh, well enough, right? Emerson Le Royale, uh, Le Royale <laughs> could actually do the same thing as well, so works out great. Now, with the way that he has his team formatted, okay, it's an interesting one. So he has Patrick Vieira, who is a monster at CDM, right, with his medium high work rates. I really believe in this formation, it's very, very ideal to have at least one medium high work rate card. But I will mention that if you wanted to go with two medium high work rate cards in those two midfield positions on stay back while attacking cover center, it would not be a bad option. I was using Declan Rice and Palinga, and I thought the balance was really nice because they're both medium high work rate. It worked out great. But you could also see that he's using a tall here. As you guys know, I've mentioned in some of the tactic videos that a tall's card that could still potentially get upgraded, right? In the midfield position, he's incredible. Like, he's very, very good. So he has that card on stay back while attacking cover center as well. But you guys know that Atal is still going to attack from time to time. So it's almost like they act against the instruction. It's kind of like me, right? Like when I'm using Paul Pogba, Paul Pogba is still going to attack from time to time because that's the type of player that he is, right? And that's why I'm trying to tell you that one of the two midfielders I'm not like crazy about for this specific play style because I personally liked the formation more if, listen, one has to be medium high at the very least, right? But then the other one has to be high high, okay? Or could be a high medium, but offers crazy defensive capabilities. Like honestly, if you still have that, uh, 
DePaul card, the Atletico Madrid one, like that's an example that I'm talking about. Like defensive capabilities are great, even though he has that work rate. Um, the cam position. Cam position is going to be very vital here, okay? It's going to be very vital. Try to get a player that you can use in the cam position that has that proper movement, okay? And Kunku has always been a player that I told you guys as the attacking-oriented midfielder, okay? Attacking-oriented midfielder. In this formation, 4-3-3, you have it set to get into the box of the cross. Get into the box of the cross does not mean to get into the box of the cross for crosses all the time. What it actually means is getting involved in the attacking play in general, okay? You will notice it on a consistent basis but with Bernardo Silva and the way that he commits inside the 18-yard box because of that specific instruction, okay? So, Bernardo Silva, Nkunku, um, if you have a Messi card, Messi would be great there as well, you know? I'm not necessarily the player of the month ones, so like the new ones, the new ones are because of the work rates. The work rates are really nice. Low low is not bad. It's actually perfectly fine, but I just prefer a different one, right? Bernardo Silva's high eye is one of the best in the game. His cam playing the him in the cam position is ridiculous, right? In the side positions, you can see that he's using Alouaron and Neymar, right? Alouaron's honestly the best example of what you can use in that left-sided area. You know who's el who else is a really good example is Diaby. If you can fit Diaby in your team. Over on that left-hand side, you're chilling as well because that card on that left-hand side is amazing too, okay? Uh, so try your best to get a left-footed player on the left side. Uh, do your best, okay? Because a lot of the goals you'll end up scoring is these guys kind of getting involved around the general area inside the 18-yard box, just outside the 18-yard box, and then shooting it across goal with their strong foot. You'll notice it on a consistent basis, okay? Um, so yeah, in his case, he has Alawaron playing on that left-hand side and he has Neymar on the right side. Honestly, if you had someone like Dimitri Payet in the right wing position, you could totally make that work, right? And then your Mbappe is the guy in the middle because this guy is... Nobody's like Mbappe at State Central, State Central getting behind. But you can honestly use any striker that is capable of playing State Central getting behind. The reason why Mbappe is there, though, is because he's everything you need with AI, but he's also everything that you need with dribbling while working with AI and just being glitch Mbappe for a reason, right? So... Very good tactic. Uh, this guy is goaded, okay? He's three for three, guys. I've tried out some tactics on Twitter and I didn't like them, okay? I didn't like them at all. But this guy is three for three, my boy. So, listen, if there's other tactics to try out in the future, we'll definitely give it a go. This guy is definitely worth checking out. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video today. Be sure to enjoy the highlights if you guys want to check that out. A lot of it is Bernardo Silva because that card is ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys for the next video. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys. Oh, that was amazing. Amazing. I'm telling you guys, nobody, like, I'm not going to say nobody, but, like, there's very few people that play like Bernardo Silva does in that middle position. Like, very, very few. Coleman actually almost got the ball there defensively for me. Nice, Rice. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, my goodness. It sounds good. FIFA stuff right there, boys. <laughs> well, take it, man. Almost got it. It didn't register the first one, but the second one did. Oh, that was just... You see that quick little sharp touch, too, that he does on the left stick? Like, that's nuts, man. Because it just gives me the angle to shoot right away, too. Brother, his left stick is so good. It's so good. His left stick, his uh, shield touch, like, it's all so good, man. Take that. Well, how did that not go in? It was a great effort, you have to say. Ronaldo Silva. Real chance. Bro, that pass was amazing. 
That was an amazing pass. And he gets the block for me there. Hell, my boy. dude what was that bro i need to see this man i need to see this hold on hold on bro this is why bro bernardo silva has been my boy since like the beginning of the year i'm telling you this guy is just so good man he's so good what did he do here a okay, little thing okay a little ball roll and then and then hold on hold on can i the cameras, I'm not used to them, man. Hold on, give me one second. And then it's this one? It's this one. Little body faint on the inside. Ball roll. I was like, oh, should I shoot a near post? No, it's not going to work because Van Dyke is there. And then look at this. Jeez, look at this. Look at this. Little fancy shots, bro. Oh my, little cheeky Thierry Henry shots, you know what I'm saying? Bang. Look at this, dude. This little whoop. That was nice. Look at the state of this card, man. Oh, he's so good, bro. Oh, Declan, Declan Rice. Ronaldo Silva. Now with Coman. It's Ronaldo Silva. Oh my goodness, bro. I love him, man. He's amazing. He's amazing, bro. He's amazing, I'm telling you. Oh, I gotta go block the kickoff. He does, he, this guy, he, the only reason why he scored that one goal was because of that kickoff thing that people keep doing, the lob pass or whatever. And I always forget about it, right? So I never, like, use my center back. Beauty. Beauty, beauty. Oh, dude, dude, dude. That's why he's my boy. He's been my boy since the beginning of the game. I got 20 and on foot chance when I try hard the one time this year because he was in my team, bro. And that was before the whole pay situation too with the pay situation. Now it is a little bit uh, shaky without the four minute defenders. Bernardo Silva, man. Bernardo Silva, what a weighted pass to Killian Glitch Bappe. Nah, bro. Bernardo is like the way that this guy does things. Oh, love the run that Coleman does there, too. Beautiful stuff. Love it. I'll take it. We'll take it. Declan Rice. Well, the counter chance looks very real. 
Sure. Sure thing, my boy. Sure thing.